Hello everybody, this is Rob Hogan. Um, I'm actually, uh, a lot of people have suggested I should start a video recording my artwork. So I'm going to start with one today, which is, I have a canvas here that was damaged. I cut out a little box here, and this is going to turn into be a um, TARDIS picture frame. Uh, so in essence, what you're going to be able to do is put a picture behind this and imagine yourself whizzing through time and space and wibbly wobbly things uh, while you're also enjoying the art aesthetic of your piece. Um, so I have acrylic paint here. I cut out a little box here and I'm just going to go around and start by claiming off this area here which is going to be my quote unquote TARDIS. Now you'll notice that the paint's going on a really little bit thick but I left this paint out uh, last night so it's a little it's a little thick and it's kind of sticking a little bit, but that's fine. So uh, right here I went ahead, I uh, kind of decided where the TARDIS is going to be. And it's just going to kind of live right over here in this corner. Um, and then next thing I'm going to do is try and make it in that style. If, you're, uh, if you are a um, Doctor Who fan, you'll know about that whole thing with Van Gogh and he wants to go visit. I'm not giving out any spoilers or anything. Um, but you'll notice that there's that tie between Doctor Who and Van Gogh. Well, one of the things about Van Gogh's style, there's a lot of stuff out there, but um, his artwork was very, um, uh, was very influential because of the kind of brush strokes he did. So you'll notice here that I'm starting out to do some Van Gogh-esque brush strokes. Um, all of his brush strokes were very consistent, so they all had like similar length width, um, kind of went in similar directions. Uh, so I'm kind of adding some here. Uh, and one of the other things they did was I saw this awesome article that he really picked up the sense of turbulence, which is a scientific concept that's kind of hard to illustrate uh, visually. And he, you'll notice that through Starry Night and uh, the way that a lot of his brush strokes kind of flow around you can almost see the air going around them so I got some blue brush strokes here and you can see it starts here and gets a little turbulent wraps around a little bit I'm also making sure I get the sides um, anytime you're painting if you do the sides you kind of quote unquote finish the artwork and when you finish it then you don't have to put in an expensive frame um, so I got a little bit of blue here, kind of started out with my sky to match the blue that I have down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, and then the same way that I added those brush strokes, I got a little bit of white here, uh, but that white's been blended with all sorts of paint. I'm a firm believer, let the, the paint wants to mix, they want to mingle, you know, they want to have this nice little mixer party and have lots of fun and shouldn't keep them separated and let them have their fun. Um, yeah, so they're having a blast here. You know, the white's going on, just blending in with that blue. And right now they're drinking old friends. And hey, they just met. Hey, how are you? I'm great. Where are you from? Okay, so we're just kind of mixing these in. Um, the cool thing, I'm using acrylic paint. And the cool thing about acrylic paint is it's very forgiving. And uh, if you end up putting paint someplace and you don't like it, you can always go back and add more paint on top of it. Um, so really, really forgiving. Uh, so right now what I'm doing is I'm adding some of these brush strokes, but I'm going to go back over later on and uh, cover up some of them uh, with some other color. Um, now one of the things you'll notice is that um, I'm leaving these huge globs of paint here. And that's A-OK -okay because what that's going to do is it's going to end up giving this painting some texture. Uh, this will be one of those paintings that um, people are going to want to come out and actually touch and put their hands on it. Because um, once this dries, it's going to have this sensual feel that you can rub your hands over and be like, Oh, this is so cool. And so that's one of the cool things about some paintings. You'll notice that a lot, some painters will use a ton of paint. And it's got this other uh, uh, other quality. You just don't only visually look at it, but you can also touch it. And it's got this texture to it. And that's one of the things that Van Gogh is going along with the brush strokes I was talking about earlier. That the texture uh, was something that really 
um, kind of made his painting stand out from what was being done that day. So, okay, so right now we got the TARDIS getting back on track. We got uh, all this stuff going up here, but what we're going to do down here, well, Van Gogh showed a lot of turbulence in the sky, but there was also, if you look at some of his, uh, like, cornfield, you know, the sunflower seal, field paintings, that there's, like, this turbulence that occurs through nature, too. It's almost like uh, the leaves um, bending to the will of the tree, uh, the wind and such. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start uh, by adding some of these little tree bushes things, um, bush thingies. Um, you'll notice that these kind of, I'm doing the same kind of brush strokes that we saw up above, but I'm also going to incorporate these by kind of bending them up into the sky that we see here. And like I did before, I'm going to add one series of these, and I'm going to go through and add some in between. And then, you know, I mentioned that I was going to add more paint in up here. So, I kind of forgot uh, to leave a little bit of space for uh, these trees. So, that's why I'm going in and I'm adding some up here. Where I had some uh, white canvas still left. Okay, so we got like a little bit of a tree coming out here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add one up here. I'm going to have it follow suit of the direction that the other one so you can almost see like a turbulence here of two flows coming together so you got the flow up here it's going around coming up here and then you got a flow coming from here going around it so this is almost like a rock in a river or stream and you can see the way uh the way that the water is going around it and so a lot of um it kind of helps if you want to do anything van gogh-esque you kind of like think about the paint is a fluid and uh, you know like uh, Bruce Lee said uh, be like water be fluid so let's have that water uh, that paint be very fluid and kind of go around uh, that rot that obstacle that we had there so yeah so I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna add a little bit more up here I really do hope this thing is recording let me let me move this just one second. Oh yeah, it's recording. Look at that. Modern marvels. How far we have come as a society in this great. Okay. So, I'll go ahead. Adding a little bit. I don't want to keep this too long. I'll, I'll make a second part. So, I'll kind of get through the next step. and. Okay, so there we go. We got some yellow. We got some blue. Uh, everybody's happy. Um, but I, I kind of want to do a little bit of like complementary colors, which are colors that are opposites. Um, and they'll really kind of like make it like pop out. Um, so, um, you know, along with this blue, I'm going to add a little bit of red down here in the bottom. And when I add that red next to the yellow, it's going to make it look a little bit more orangey. Oh, this has been sim for a while. It's a not it's not a happy little eat red. That's okay. So I won't add that much red, but I'll just add a little bit. And you'll see that it's starting to really pop out now with this color. And you'll notice that most of the brush strokes I'm doing are about two to three inches long. Um and when I do a lot of this style artwork, um I actually use the same brush. I don't switch brushes. Um, I, I got kind of, a few years ago when I started doing art, uh, I started with pointillism. And uh, I actually went through and I wasn't doing sketches beforehand when I first did it. And the first time I told somebody I wasn't doing sketches before I started the artwork, they were like, that's amazing. And I'm like, oh, so that whole process of making artwork is actually a pretty significant thing. Uh, so, like, I do take the process of making artwork pretty seriously when I make my artwork. Uh, so, a lot of the um, uh, pop um, impressionistic uh, portraiture that I do, I actually don't sketch out anything ahead of time. Um, and additionally, I also use the same brush for a lot of it because um, I think it's you know, it's kind of cool just to use the same brush. Uh, a lot of people switch.